I love making Arduino based gadgets. This radio frequency generator based on the Arduino Uno with a, with a shield on top. Arduino Geiger counter. And although not using the Arduino Uno, this M5 stack module uh, is still using the Arduino IDE to program it. This is all very well and good for me, but people say, I'd love to make something like that, but I simply do not know where to start. And that is what this series is going to be about, showing how to get started with the most basic of projects and then building on that using this fantastic kit. Before we open the box, I've bought many Arduino starter kits and it just arrives in, in a bag. Also bought the sensor kits. And what you get is a bunch of bags with sensors in, which is fantastic if you actually know what they are. But if you have no idea, I happen to know that this is a temperature and humidity sensor, but if you've never seen one before, how are you going to know? So that's of no use to us whatsoever. What the folks at Eligu have done is to put everything that you need together in this starter kit. So not only do you get all the parts, but more importantly, you get a a picture and a description of what those parts are so that you can identify them. They also supply on the CD here tutorials that you can follow to get you up and up and running and also code that you need for each of the projects and the libraries that you need. You can always go to the Eligu website here and download the latest version should you need it. Everything that you need to get started is included and each has its own little compartment so that you can easily find things. Here's our old friend the temperature and humidity sensor for example. If you didn't know that from the get-go here's its little picture and the accompanying description. Uh, DHT11 temperature and humidity module, one piece. So this is a fantastic way to start. Let's briefly check out the contents of the disk and start our first project. I've downloaded the latest version of the documentation from the Eligu website. Read me first would be the place to start. So in the folders you can choose your own language. As we can see there are German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Russian and Chinese languages available. We have the tutorials for installing first the Arduino IDE, the code for various tutorials and some libraries which are additional libraries of software for certain applications, certain devices. You can either download the Arduino IDE from the Eligu website or you can go directly to the Arduino website, your choice. Excellent news here, there is a contact email depending on your geography, for me it would be the EU service if you have any issues. Before we move on, let's just take a look in the data sheets. The amount of attention to detail that these people have gone to is absolutely incredible. I've never seen its equivalent with any other products. For example, every device has its own data sheet which will take you through all the technical information that you need, the voltages, the currents, absolutely all the detail is there. So you don't have to go hunting around on the web to some obscure website uh, to try and find the information that you need. It is all here. Under your language, as it mentioned, there is the code for the individual projects, which starts with lesson four for reasons that we will come on to, and the necessary libraries. DHT, again our old friend, the temperature and humidity sensor. But before we can start any of the lessons, we need to download and install the Arduino IDE. Uh, so there are the links there that you can follow. I've already downloaded and installed the IDE for my system. With that done, we can now connect up our Arduino Uno, check the connection to the IDE, and test our first sketch or program. Lesson one was the IDE installation, so lesson two is blinking the LED on the board. Looking at the board here, there is a feature which I haven't seen on any others, with not only the designations of the pins being on the silk screen, but also written along the edge connectors there. Once again, a very nice touch. On the board itself, the onboard LED is just here. When we plug it in, I'm expecting that to start flashing as the blink sketch is also used as a basic test in the, in the factory. I have the Arduino IDE running. Let's plug the board in. 
So there we can see the power light green lit and the onboard LED blinking away. The instructions now are to load the blink script into the IDE. We find this in the examples basic. We need to save our own copy of this so that we can modify it. We'll call it Eligoo Blink. The next step, we've connected the board. We need to check that the board type and serial port are set correctly, which is done under Tools. Yes, the Arduino Genuine Uno is selected. It's indicated in the COM ports which one has the Arduino connected to it. All is good. Now we can upload our sketch to test it. So we have the tick there that just verifies and then we have the upload which verifies and uploads it to the board. As it uploaded we could see briefly the transmit and receive lights flashing and now all is, all is done. No error messages, the code has uploaded correctly. In the tutorial, I suggest you read through the description of how the code works. What we can do, as it says here, to make the LED blink twice as fast is to reduce the delay to 500. So let's try that. Verify and upload. We see the blinking transmit and receive. And now we can see the LED blinking twice as fast. So everything is working as expected. We'll come on to lesson three in the next video. This was an introduction to the Eligu starter kit and just to make sure that we had the Arduino IDE installed correctly and that we can upload the code. All of that has been successful. My thanks go to Eligu for providing the kit for evaluation. I hope you will join me in the next video where we will learn some more.